the two people in front, they they were fighting and everyone else was in a different battle and then when they took each other out it was just oh yeah I can get second. Oh good, good. And I was kind of um hoping that the guy right ahead of me would get not really crash but um kind of like slow down a little bit but second's good enough well the top four going into the first turn were they were we were all within about a couple bike lengths with and um, in the first turn it started to spread out a little bit more starting like all in line but going into the second turn like the top two the three-time world champion and the national champion for that year they were going in side by side, and uh, the world champion would try to push him up, and his front wheel kind of got turned, and he flipped, and Walker and Walker must have uh, got tangled up with him somehow, and they both wrecked. But hmm. they got they got up pretty quick, so okay. they were okay. <laughs> I felt excited that. Um, uh, I knew that um, I was already qualified, but to get a top three finish was, it was uh, pretty exciting. Okay. Well, they pretty much did like, uh, had the top three guys in every uh, division, like pros, boys, girls. And um, so they said like, like starting from third place, third place on the podium, second place, First place, handed everyone the medals, and for first place, I handed them a jersey, mm -hmm. and then the medal. So. Oh, cool. Cool. Um, it's going to be a, it's going to be a good experience because it's a different type of track, taller starting hill, mm -hmm. longer jumps than I'm used to, which which is going to be fine. I just need to work on it a little bit. Last year, like um, it was up actually up in Indiana when I I was going full speed in practice, and when I landed from a jump I, and started to pedal, my chain came off the gear, okay. and I tilted sideways, and I couldn't get straightened back up from the next till from the next jump, and um, and from that I just kind of slid out. My nothing really happened to my bike except for the chain, mm -hmm. and. So I just kind of got up, took took about an hour break, and then started riding again. So oh, goodness. <laughs> didn't really know I was injured until we went to the hospital that night. So yeah. that was my first major injury. Like I've had like a few bad scars, but nothing that nothing that severe. So mm -hmm. after I got back from the hospital, about about a week after I uh, went into the hospital. Um, I, I, had, I was weighing 90 pounds right before I wrecked. When I got home, I weighed myself, and I was down to 90 or 80. Mm -hmm. And um, at the national finals, I was still recovering, but it was a, it was a hard race as always. But it was even harder because I had, I was still recovering from a the biggest injury I've ever had in my in my life. Not really, because, like, I I knew that at some point I was going to get injured, so I just got to put that out of your head and get back out there. Mm -hmm.